One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up the WiseCam V4, which was launched in 2024. In order to set this up, you're going to need the Wise app. So if you don't have that, download the Wise app, set up a username and password, and log in. We've done that, so now we're ready to set up our WiseCam V4. We're going to click the plus symbol in the upper left hand corner and we're going to add a device. So we're adding a camera here. So we select add a camera and you can see all the different cameras we have. And we have a Wise Cam V4. That's what we're looking to set up. So we're going to click on that. It says plug your Wise Cam V4 into a power outlet. So we've already plugged in the Wise Cam right here. And it's important to note that this camera the way that you plug it in, it is directional. So you wanna make sure that you line up this little piece here with the piece inside there, otherwise it will not fit. So we've got that plugged in there, and now I'm going to plug the camera itself into power. All right, we plugged in our WiseCam V4 to a power outlet, and you can see we've got this red light right here, which means that it has been plugged in. But we need to wait for it to start flashing red before we can set it up. So now we've got the flashing red light, which means we're ready to set this up. So I'm going to click next. It says press setup under the camera. The status light will flash red. Underneath the camera, there are two buttons. One right here is the SD card port, which you can open up. And then this other one right here is the setup button. So I'm going to press the setup button and it should speak to us. Ready to connect. If you heard that, it said ready to connect which means we are now ready to set this up. It says, it said it's ready to connect. So click this little box and then begin the setup. Ready to connect. Here it says, allow WISE to use your location even when you're not using the app. I'm gonna say keep only while using. Here we need to select our Wi-Fi network. So make that selection now. Now enter your password for your Wi-Fi network. Once you've entered your Wi-Fi password, click connect. It speaks to us while it's connecting. Our WiseCam V4 is now set up. That went really quick and you could name your device here. We're going to call this one the pet cam and click continue. Now you can choose to enhance this with the basic plan or the cam plus plan. We're going to just leave it on basic and click continue. We're going to click confirm. Congrats on your new WiseCam V4. Here's your special unlimited offer. Here it just gives you another offer if you want to do the unlimited monthly plan, but we're going to go back to the app. Things to try before you finish setup. We're going to click skip. Yes, we're going to click finish. Installation location. We recommend mounting the camera at least one foot from the ceiling to avoid spotlight glare. This does have a spotlight on the top there, so you do want to mount it so that you're not going to get too much reflection at nighttime. Click next. You're all set. We're going to click complete. Firmware update required. We're going to click update now. Click update. All done, your update went great. Click done. Here it gives us some instructions. Zoom into the video player by pinching the video with two fingers. Click next. Change the resolution, turn on or off the spotlight, turn the microphone and sound on or off. Swipe for additional controls. Let's start. Great. So I'm gonna put my hand over the camera and you can see it shows up right there on the device and it also tracks that. And you can zoom in or out or take a photo, record, or look and see what is stored on the SD card. Down here, you've got your events and you can see what happened. There's a little bit of my head in the camera and we can also see what's going on. It says, congratulations, you've earned a badge. You can turn this on or off right here. So if you don't want it on, you can turn that off or on, but we're gonna leave it on. So let's turn that back on. And then you've got all your different uh, options down here. So let's take a photo. It just took a photo. I could view that image or I could record right now. So if I wanted to record, it is recording and I can stop this, but that'll then show up down here. So I'm gonna stop 
And if I wanted to view, I just click right there. Then you've got your smart focus on. You can turn that on or off. And that was what happened when, um, if I put my hand here, it focuses on the moving image there. So let's do that again. And you can see it's gonna focus on what is moving in the frame. You've also got your siren here. So if you click on this, it's gonna play your siren. And it's definitely fairly loud and could scare off an intruder. You've got your album that you could go through. You can also set up a time lapse here if you want, or you can turn this off. Then over here, you've got your filter, so you can filter all your events by motion, sound, person, pet, package, or vehicle, so that's really nice. We're gonna cancel that. And then you've got options here to subscribe to the Cam Plus so that you can store more events. And then if we go up into settings here, we can change the name of our uh, camera. So we've got our Wise Cam V4 just named Pet Cam, and that works for me. You've got your detection settings. You can change the motion detection sensitivity, low, high, medium. We're gonna leave it in medium. You've got motion detection zones. So I can turn those on or off. If I turn this on, you can select certain zones that you want to be recorded or not, but we want all of ours to be recorded. So I'm just going to click save there, but I'm actually gonna turn off the motion detection zone. So just slide that off. And that means that it's gonna detect motion in all areas. But let's say you had a street and you had a lot of traffic, you could uh, make it so that you don't have motion detection on the street only when someone comes on or off that street and on, is on, let's say like a sidewalk. You've got sound detection sensitivity, so you can just slide these up or down. We'll leave that uh, close to 50% there. Then you've got your event recording, so you can choose how you want this to all work motion, sound, all events, smart detection events. You can have a recording cooldown, so that's kind of how long it takes. Uh, once it records something, it won't record for another five minutes, or I would like to see this uh, much slower, but you need to have that uh, Wise Cam Plus subscription to make it to a smaller number. Then if we go back here, you've got notifications. You can decide what you want to be notified for and it'll pop up on your uh, device. You've got your alarm settings here. So you can have a smoke alarm or CO alarm sound. And what happens is it will generate a 12 second video alert and send you a push notification if either your smoke alarm or your CO alarm goes off. So I think that is really beneficial, especially if you have pets and you're not home. Spotlight settings, you can turn this on or off when camera detects motion. You can have a lights off timer or you can have a schedule for this. So a ton of customization there. You've got advanced settings and then you've got accessories. Now down here, you can set up all different types of rules, sharing or device info. And then you can also restart the device or reset if you're having any kind of issues or delete the device. So overall, this Wisecam V4 is really neat in that it is an economical solution in terms of providing both day and night vision for a Wi-Fi camera, and it can be used indoors and outdoors. And at 2K, it does have really good resolution is what I've noticed, and a fairly good image sensor as well. You can see it's just looking up at the ceiling here, but uh, we get a pretty good idea of, we've got a little smoke detector there and it's looking at that. And then you can zoom in and you can see the resolution is really good. I can zoom into that smoke detector or I can even zoom in on my camera here and see what's going on. You can see I use a EOS 80D. So that is nice that it's got all these features built into it and that it has the good resolution for both day and night vision and then that extra light. So thanks for watching this video on how to set up your Wisecam V4. Please give us that thumbs up and subscribe if you want to support us or check the links in the description below. Thanks and we'll see you next time.